Alright, I'm gonna try to make this video quick. So, I was thinking about something. And I was thinking on it, like, not hard, but just like a thought possessed me. It was like, why is Will Smith in an end of the world movie? Two of them I, Robot, and I Am Legend. And then Denzel Washington. Why is he in a movie, Book of Eli, like the end of the world? Like, why do they have these characters, like, end of the world characters? Hmm. So half an hour, no, five minutes. So look, all right, stay with me. So I'm like, why do they keep putting Blade, even Blade, in a sense, is like an end of the world, you know, because it is the end of the human world and the entering of the vampire world. So either way, it's like a black deity that stands between these two worlds. What is this? So, it hit me when I watched Blade. They put Will Smith. You gotta Will D. Smiths. <clears throat> you have, they put Will Smith in the end of the world movie because this is signifying us. Don't always look at it as a race. Look at it as an idea. Look at it as... Because I don't want to put this towards race, guys. Like, this is not what I come on these videos for, to pinpoint race. But it's to specify that a specific type of person can handle both cycles. So, if Will Smith is still kicking during the shift of a cycle, meaning... We had one cycle that was him in the life and then whoo, everything ended and then it's a death cycle. And yet he's standing here in the middle between two points. Yeah, very similar to Blade that could stand out there during the day when all the other vampires cannot. Like a day walker, like an energy that can walk or be or dwell in both cycles. That is who we are. We are the energy that will withstand and withhold the transition of an old cycle into a new cycle, from a life cycle into a death cycle, or to a death cycle into a life cycle. Regardless, we, if you're here watching this right now, we are the mediums or the ones that last between these two cycles, us. And this is why they show these symbologies or this symbolism in these movies. Your Blade, your uh, 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 Book of Eli, your I Am Legend. It's showing you energies or frequencies that can handle both cycles. Simple. That's it. End of days, like Christ was speaking on, is literally the end of a day end of a day cycle and when there's no more days time resets this is why christ was saying end of days literally telling you time will reset what do you mean time will reset bc ad before christ after death or whatever other acronyms they have that represent these things. But needless to say, it is showing you the shifting of two cycles. So who was an energy that lasted between those two cycles? Christ. Christ was an energy that came from an old cycle and then resonated and lasted into a new cycle. And this is who and what you are. You survived your death, people, because you came back here in the life. And you have the information stored in you with the information. Well, you have the information stored in you from the prior cycle. You can call it Akasha or Akashic Records. You can call it Chakras. These are the lights that are instilled in you. That's it. Book of Eli. This was a, a simplistic science of what I was trying to explain to you guys in a previous video. You have senses, sense of sight, okay? When Eli no longer had his eyes, he was blind. He then developed heightened senses. He then was feeling his way through a new cycle and not seeing his way through a new cycle. People, let's get this. It's not hard. It's easy. We're here to understand these simple symbolisms that they place right there in your movies. SS. So, this is the science. 
that you have to start closing off your intellectual mind. That you cannot sit here and pinpoint one through nine in every single goddamn dimension because you will get lost and lost and lost. We got to start feeling our way through these systems, feeling our way through these cycles. I, I, I was originally saying you got to know a thing to know a thing, but I don't think you can completely understand what I mean with that. So let me rephrase that. You got to know a thing. No, no thing, meaning nothing at all to know a thing. From nothing comes something. Keep going. <clears throat> you got to feel a thing to know a thing. And in order to feel a thing, you don't want to attach yourself to a thing. Because then you might not feel the thing that you're trying to feel. So in feelings, you try not to take on too many identities. You try not to take on too many consciousness. Because then it could restrict you from feeling all. And this is why it's important for us to get into the frequency of feeling the Bible. He does it with his fingers in the book of Eli instead of reading these books. Feel this information. Guys, get this symbolism. Feel this information. Blind people must feel their way through life. Touch their way through life. Feel their way through life. Feel this information. And then there'll be ribbons in the sky, Stevie Wonder. That's it. I think I said it. That, that's essentially what I'm trying to help you understand. You know, that these symbolisms and these end of days movies or these day walkers or these energies that can walk both day and both night. This is symbolic for us that can walk and, and sustain oneself no matter what cycle we're in. That's it. I think I said it. Black sun. The black sun would be the black hole. Sure. Um, hi, I'm Melissa. Um, quick video, so yeah, so I think I said it. Um, I view it as making mistakes and learning from them. Uh, frequency, okay, so <clears throat> okay, in the life you take, if you're not in the life, you might miss a take in the life you take you absorb but it, when you feel something you might not catch it all until you develop the sense of feeling which comes with building one's heart chakra but I'm explaining that when you miss something then you have to go back and get it so if you missed a step or missed a take or miss the stake that drives inside of your heart. But well, then you still have a ability to live and learn from the life. You know, take and stake is very similar. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I just want y'all to get that. It's simple. I don't want to make this video long. You know, I got other stuff to do. But that's it. It's, it is essentially um, Kyle, Superman. He survived a death cycle. His planet was destroyed. <laughs> Lucifer survived a death cycle. <laughs> Lilith. I mean, all these people who have survived death cycles. And then you must now ask the question, how did they survive this death cycle? Well, you speak their names up every day. You wonder how you survive death. Well, we summon energies every day. I listen to Michael Jackson. I listen to Prince. I listen to XXX to Tayshion. I summon these energies every day. So, that's it. Appreciate you guys tuning in.